All right, time now for the latest dish on Wisconsin Supper Clubs. And tonight, Michelle McCormack is mixing it up a little bit. We mean mixing it up, literally asking that age-old question, what is a Wisconsin Old Fashioned? It just isn't supper in Wisconsin without some conversation, usually over cocktails first. Thank you. And on this particular Sunday afternoon, while waiting for the kitchen to open at Rivers Bend Supper Club in Green Bay, the conversation is about cocktails and what is a Wisconsin old fashioned. First, I'm going to start with brandy. Made with brandy, flick of the risk of bitters, um, with an orange and a cherry. Um, I don't necessarily mind if it's not muddled. I know a lot of people prefer that it is. Sweet and sour, doesn't matter, but the key ingredient would be the brandy. The founder of the Wisconsin Supper Club Enthusiasts Facebook group assembled several longtime members who also had decades of experience as bartenders. They echo Sean's sentiment that brandy is the old fashioned pick. So I just had to ask, is that what you're drinking? I don't drink brandy. I prefer bourbon or a good quality whiskey. That is not the one I'm drinking. I think a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned. Okay, you should go a little more call. So I like to make a Crown Royal Old Fashioned sweet. And while I'm not trying to get anybody's swizzle stick in a flutter, wait until you hear what they serve up more often than not at Rivers Bend. We would sell whiskey old fashions three to one probably over the brandy old fashions. Well, newspaper accounts from the 1800s confirmed the old fashioned cocktail was around long before Wisconsin started drinking it. It did originate out in New York um, and it was basically a way to make less quality spirits seem palatable. Legends about the brandy connection abound. It is back during Prohibition. I think there was a surplus in brandy. It kind of started down in the Kenosha Racine area and then it kind of worked its way up north. Listen, I like a good story as much as the next person, but I didn't want to muddle up the issue. Give me the straight facts. And for that, I had to go to the vice president of operations of Corbell in California. It's over 50% of our brandy sales are in the state of Wisconsin, which is a relatively small state in terms of population, but yet you guys managed to drink more than 160,000 cases of Corbell brandy a year. Corbell has its own theories that Wisconsinites brought a whole bunch of it up north from the World Exposition in Chicago way back when. Or maybe German settlers just brought it from their home country. More likely than not, they think it was just a great jingle in the 60s. You know, Corbell brandy, a nickel a drink more and worth it. And for whatever reason, that really resonated in Wisconsin. And get this, some mixologists say don't get bogged down with the spirits. What makes a Wisconsin old-fashioned Wisconsin is the wash. Well, definitive Wisconsin old-fashioned uh, includes the soda or the wash, which is different than what you can find in other parts of the country. The only state, I guess, that has wash in their old fashions. Typically, it's just going to be the bitters uh, with a little bit of the spirit. Rivers Bend has been experimenting lately introducing seasonal flavors to old fashions and one of the favorites from summertime is sticking around. We have a rum old fashioned that has some lavender bitters in it. The bold new flavors are bringing the cocktail into focus for a younger crowd that used to think that's only what the older folk drink. There is a huge resurgence in old fashioned drinkers from Gen X, millennials, you know, even the, some of the, the younger Gen Zers that are turning 21. The personal choice, uh, same with the garnishes, each person likes it a little differently. We don't have a particular stance on it. We like to cater to what the customers like. I, I don't think it matters. I think is everybody is drinking something that, that they enjoy and it's keeping, you know, supper clubs open. You're seeing a, a kind of a renaissance of the old fashioned. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Ah, uh, thanks, Michelle. A great story. Uh, the whole story, Luke Sampy was doing play-by-play. -play. That guy's right. No, he's wrong. Yep, he's got it right. Luke knows. All right. Uh, Michelle, by the way, checked in with Rivers Bend. They offer non-alcoholic versions on all of its old-fashioned cocktails, as well as non-alcohol beer and wine. And their bar, by the way, will now remain open between the Sunday brunch and the start of their supper service at 4 o'clock in the afternoon.